Hi everyone, um, I, I have purchased this uh, car stereo uh, and I just need to check to make sure it's working. Um, so there are two ways you can check that. Um, the first method is uh, you can check it through an, uh, through an adapter like this. But um, if you have access to the spare battery or your car battery, I would recommend using that method because that's a bit safer compared to using this method. So with, um, but I, I just for uh, uh, demonstration purpose, or I just wanted to help if you are in, if you don't have access to the car or the car battery, then you can, there's one way you can check. So um, you, if you have um, an adapter like this, you can see output 12 volt DC, 1000 milliampere minimum, right? If you have higher than that, uh, I think should be good. So if you have an adapter like this, uh, so uh, the way you see, I've cut the other side. Uh, so there are two, my, my positive and my uh, ground wire negative, the black one. So uh, what you can do is on the, st on the car stereo, so these two wires, the, the yellow and the red, you connect the two. So both are for positive current. Uh, the yellow wire, um, uh, the yellow is, it's a constant current uh, coming to the radio from the battery. So whether the, the car is on or off, um, so it will receive the current all the time. And uh, this red one is, it will only receive the power or the current when the ignition is on. So you connect these two, and this will, uh, I need to connect it to the this adapter, the positive. So I'll connect the positive on the positive and negative on the negative like this. Right, so I'll put the phone down and connect it and I'll show in next step. I wouldn't recommend using this. Um, as I said, it's not very safe. So if you are using this method, please proceed at your own risk. Um, there is a risk of electrical shock or you may short out your radio. But I just wanted to show you there is a way you can check that. So yeah, let me proceed and connect the wires and you can see it next. Um, I've connected the these two wires. Uh, the the red and the yellow to the red wire which is my positive uh, from the adapter and then I've connected the the black wire the ground wire to the ground from the stereo so when I plug it in you can see um, it will start uh, it will turn on just make sure that these two don't touch because you may short out the radio and also don't touch it because there is risk of electrical shock. So just be, I wouldn't recommend using this, but just I wanted to show you that there's a way that you can turn this on. So I plugged it in and it should turn on. Yeah, you can see it turned on. So this was one, one way of checking it. Uh, if you don't have access to a car battery, uh, and you have um, you have this adapter then you can check it basically the stereo to make sure it's working so and I'll be showing you now a, a different way to, uh, I have a 12 volt battery too I'll be showing that too how to connect through a battery so the second method is um, checking through a battery a 12 volt battery um, so you can either use a spare battery the, like the way I have a smaller uh, spare 12 volt battery or you can do this on your car car battery so basically what you do is you connect uh, these two wires the um, the yellow and the red these are both positive positive wires so you so I you can you can see it I'll connect it to the positive and this is the negative wire right the black one the negative so it goes on the negative on the battery so I have already connected on the other side. You can see the negative. So as soon as I connect the positive and you can see it will turn on. So this is how you can check if a stereo is working or not. So you can see I'll connect the positive. And here you go. It just turned on. So this is how you can check um, a, if a car as a a stereo outside the car if it's working or not um, thanks for watching okay bye